Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Kata Podcast. Today we have the full cast in the building. We're going to get to know our tribe members, we're going to get into the issues and since it's our very first episode, we would also intermittently introduce the cast members. And before we get started, how was the week for everyone? How did everybody's week go? My week was boring, so it's boring. Uh, my week was okay. Most of our classes were virtual, so it was fine being indoors. And then the field trip too was great. We had a field exercise, went out. We did? Yeah, on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it was great. It was great on Tuesday, but the rest of the days so it was fine indoors. Where did you guys go? So we went to look out for trees, examine trees. You really didn't examine the trees. We went to identify, identify trees and all that. Okay, so for me, my week really starts on Tuesdays. So I teach on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. So I'm basically indoors aside Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. That's great. All right, now you've gotten to hear almost all the crew members. I'm sure you're scratching your head and being like, Whose voice is that and who is that? So I'm Kojo Pukwajumang. I'm just Kojo on Twitter and QAJJO on Instagram. As the show goes on, you're going to get to know more about me. I think one of the things we wanted to discuss today, after Afia introduces herself, is first dates. So we're just going to get into the, the whole big ordeal about first dates. So Afia, introduce yourself. Hey, 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 I'm Ifia, Ifia Eboa. You can follow me on Twitter and then IG. On Twitter, I am Ifia Eboa, and the Ifia is E P H Y E. And on IG, my handle is Miss underscore Ifia underscore Eboa. Yeah, so maybe that's all you need to know for now. And as time goes on, you're going to get to know me a little bit more. And Fia, what's your favorite? First date moment. I think probably getting to meet the person in person. That would be like my favorite. Because most often we go on dates to you know, you, you'd be talking in the background and you've not met the person before. So the first date is like when you guys meet like in person. And that's my favorite part. Like you just see the person you meet again. Hmm. Interesting. Chris, what's the worst thing that can happen on a first date? Um, for me, I think not being able to keep the conversation going, especially when you, you do all the talking over social media or virtually. But when you get to meet the person, you are not able to vibe as you used to do on, on, on your virtual platforms. I think that's, that's that for me. Have it happened to you before? Yeah, it has. It has. Mm-hmm. I think I was a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it was once, and I, I, I made sure it never happened again. <laughs> yeah. It's good that it was once. I have a horrible first date experience. So, I had been talking to this girl over Twitter for some time. You know, like, and when you're on social media like you know you can say whatever you want to say you can say your mind and i get to meet this girl and the first thing that threw me off was she was like 30 minutes late and so whenever you're sitting at the uh, it was a restaurant at this time when you're sitting at the restaurant by yourself you're figuring out is is this going to happen is she going to show up what's going to be the excuse and then you 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 know things get a bit annoying over time then this girl shows up then she drops the thickest North London accent on my ass and uh, mind you it's like even if you can speak English right when somebody speaks with a thick accent you're taken aback so I'm like this is gonna go south fast (laughs) cuz I mean she's a Ghanaian girl and she's like all this uh, she was almost like the queen and then I was her in for a while and then she goes like oh young <laughs> Triana like of course of course <laughs> let us speak chi let's let's make this a bit more comfortable she takes off her jacket and her Ghanaian comes out I'm like thank you <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it was a, a, an unsettling experience at the beginning of the date but I think it got better and 
we still stay in touch, so I don't think it was that bad a date. <laughs> so what made it bad? What was it? What made it horrible? I think being late on a first date is a bad look. Mm-hmm. For a guy and a girl. And just just don't be late. It's yeah. it's just I mean, it's not a good first impression. Mm-hmm. It throws people off. And it unsettles your other um, your partner, right? Or the person you're meeting. Because I mean, for a girl, it's even worse because it's like, am I going to be stood up, right? Is this the person even going to show up? Mm-hmm. And so I think it's one of the things that makes dates go south fast. And then you don't want to meet an upset date. If your date is upset before you get there, then it's a bad start. Why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> 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 yeah. So I was like, for me, it's like my. Sorry, my first worst date was over here. Like, um, so this will happen. She was like, let's go on a date. And I'm new over here. I don't know places around this place. And I chose a restaurant which I've never been to. So we went to that place and I ordered the wrong food. <coughs> yeah, it was uh, a seafood restaurant. I ordered the wrong food, Jack. My, it was different because like the food just made me upset because just looking at the price menu and I was trying to show off and I just took it like let's go I went for it and I was miserable was she a Ghanaian? no no black American I'm thinking American <laughs> Persia oh <laughs> yeah but also another pro tip I think just don't go on a first date to somewhere you don't know so so while we're on this topic what would be a good first date location? Dean where do you think a good first date would be? Thank you for me, I like nature and then being by the sea. So being at the beach side would be good for me. Yeah. Be somewhere you can relax, free yourself. Not going into the sea, like going into the water. Just sitting at the beach side, talk, feel free. Yeah. It's true. But like most of the guys, when you go on a date, we are trying to impress the lady. So we try to do stuff that the lady will enjoy. In my case, the lady likes fancy stuff. And I was trying to impress her. I think when you want to give a good first impression, you have to get a place you are comfortable with. Mm-hmm. When you are comfortable, that is when you can Be take yourself. control mm-hmm. of affairs. Mm-hmm. So I think um, going to a new place or yeah, you mm-hmm. should go to a place you are comfortable mm-hmm. with. Then you can. And also, I think if you want to impress the lady, mm-hmm. yeah. You just ask her places that she'd like to go. Yeah, but like some ladies don't know how to choose. <laughs> then you take her to a place you will get comfortable if you can choose. So whose choice is it to pick the first date location? I think if you have is a it a girl or the boy? Personally, I'd want somebody that would plan everything out and tell me, you know what, I want to take you here. Get dressed. Mm meet me here or maybe let me pick you up here something like just plan it mm. i like someone that will take like plan everything and then let me know mm. okay i want to take you here i want to take you here i love surprise like good surprises but well, i'm not trying to cut you okay off, wait what if you get to the place and it's like um i don't really like this do you place. know you've been talking to the person yeah, for so a you while know the person. you should know the person you see uh-huh so if it's somebody you've been talking to i mean you should know what she likes what she doesn't like mm-hmm. And then you should be able to plan something around that. And I think with that, it will impress her more. No, she will like, she'll feel like, yo, you're something. taking notice of the little things. Like oh, you like this. Uh huh. You see, you will not be doing anything, but the fact that you saw that, oh, you said one time you like chocolate, so I bought you chocolate. Like, <laughs> no, it's just no, that. But it looks like you people are looking at <laughs> the first date like someone you've been talking to for a while. We're talking about someone you're now getting to know. Yeah. So it's the very first it's time you're very meeting. First, first time. No, before you meet, before I meet you, I should talk to you for a while. How like, long? It, it how doesn't. Long? It doesn't Not always how long? happen like, that way. Like even if it's a week, mm. two weeks, we've been talking. Mm. Like I can, I can't see you mm. today, tomorrow, and then. Okay, it happens, but mm. more <laughs> often we talk for like a week or two before the person will be like, oh. Let's do something. I want to meet you. I think you're missing... So, first date mm-hmm. is a stranger, right? Who's met you somewhere. Probably met you, sees you at the mall or sees you in class. And it's like, hey, can we 
go out for drinks. Normally, it's go out for drinks or go out for coffee, and and that's my preferred mm. um, first date oh, thing, right? Okay. Go for drinks, go for coffee, places you can talk. It's not someone I know. I don't know what your preferences are. I don't know what your likes so are. So you're talking about first dates. Yeah. Like with respect to somebody you just met, like mm-hmm. you met the person today, mm-hmm. and the next day the person wants you guys to hang out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's okay. Me for me before I accept something like that, it will depend on the guy. If I see you and I like you, I don't care if it's the se- f- the first day we met. Mm-hmm. I would schedule a date. I wouldn't if you propose that I would accept, mm-hmm. and then we meet. I would accept, but I'm saying that because. I can't remember being on a, such a date. Like, I meet somebody for the first day and the next day, the person wants us to meet. Or it could be casual. Or oh, let's meet at the, um, at, and see, at this, uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be like that. Let's meet mm. here and then eat. Or oh, do you mind? Most like often it's like a day, to like two, three days. Maybe if you meet on Friday, it will be the next weekend. Let's hang out. So in between, like, you get to talk. There is that. There is that, and there is the part that you meet someone for the first time. Oh, Echo, how are you doing? Mm-hmm. Be chatting, and then, oh, I, li- I think I like her the way we interact. The way mm-hmm. like, can we meet tomorrow at this point yeah. and then have a drink? That first day. Yeah. So, it dip- mm-hmm. for me, if the, there is a, se- like a situation like that, if I accept, it will be based on the guy's demeanor, how he composed himself, the things That's he really said. That will make me accept and say, oh, I'll meet you. That means I like you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But if I say, oh, no, I have an assignment to do. <laughs> more mm-hmm. <super> <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's it. And so we'd, we'd get to know more about D, but I'm, I'm curious here. So you select first dates. That means you're not going to go out on a first date with someone you don't like. No. That's... Yeah. <laughs> so if I see you and then I think you have a potential to be a friend, but why would you go out with somebody you don't like? Why? But maybe uh, it I think it's just courteous, right? I mean, to go out with somebody you don't like. Yeah. They to hear them out, don't just like. to be polite. I think I've been polite in the first time we had the interaction. Exactly. That's polite, man. That's I wouldn't have said that. Yeah. So the next time you see me, hello, hi, vibe, and that's it. I wouldn't push things and then... Because if you don't like somebody, clearly you don't enjoy their company. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't want to extend it. I mean, who would want to hang out with somebody they don't like? What are we going to discuss? We don't have anything in common. But wait, how would you not like the person like you just met the person the first day? Because it's like... You don't know the the way people think can turn you off. But wait, like there's so many like factors that contribute it. You know, like sometimes maybe the person was having a bad day or you were having a bad day. No, that's different. If if I meet you and I don't like you, mm-hmm. I can tell. I don't like you like and say to that extent, like I hate you, no. But you know how people think mm-hmm. can be very unattractive. Like somebody will tell you somebody will say something and you wonder, did you really think of this? Like, how did you come up with this? It doesn't make sense. And then this person will propose Oh, can we meet tomorrow and talk? No, hell no. I'm not about <laughs> like what we we don't have. I don't know. I don't know. I I can't give you an example, but there are some people that you just meet and you know. Oh, I don't like this person, and that's it. Mm, okay, that makes sense. I mean, I I'm still a bit. I okay. So there's there's a bit of a disconnect, right? I, I feel you should just hear people out. We've we've all gone on dates with people, right? Mm-hmm. And then you realize on the date, eh, we we're not clicking. But you don't decide that before you meet the person, right? And so it's like, hey, let's go get coffee. And then we're 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 getting to know each other over coffee. I'm getting to know your interest. I'm getting to know what you like. And then we decide at the end of the date whether or not we're going on a second date. Mm. But if you are writing people off before they get a chance, then how are you making your them before you decide to go on a date? I mean, you don't just meet somebody and be like, "Come go on a date." No. Maybe yeah. that, that's what maybe that, that's what might not be enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe I understand it. Maybe you, you maybe you get approached by a city old person. Maybe you're like twenty. You could. <laughs> so that means could you be going out with yes you? so so <laughs> yeah you don't exactly. select you'll be going out with just <laughs> anybody <laughs> anybody will be walking up to you and then you're going on dates with them so if you're if you're single right mm. and you're not in any commitments i don't see the reason to not go out on a date with someone who asks you 
because it's not it's not go on a date and sleep with me. Yeah. It's it's let's get to know people, right? You can make friends. I mean, at the end of the date, after you've gotten to know the person, you know where they would fit. I mean, if you're a sixty year old woman and you ask me out on a date and I'm single, of course I'm gonna go out with you. We're gonna go grab coffee, grab a drink. I talk to you. Maybe you're going to be the one who leads me to my next job. Who knows, right? Mm -hmm. And so for me, I think it's just at least the first date is a courtesy I would accord to anyone. I don't have to like you on the first date. I, you shouldn't be someone I'm attracted to sexually. To Not attracted sexually. sexually. <laughs> I talk about like how the person thinks. No. Just imagine you meet somebody and the person is like, I, I can give an example, but something that is very, very general, right? There are some people you really want them to be in your circle, because our mothers and fathers always tell us to be um, selective of the kind of friends you make, the kind of people that walk into your life. And so when you are meeting somebody and you are interacting, some of the things they say might put them like might put them in the place where they are supposed to be. They say this person is not fit to be my friend, so or this person is not fit to be someone that could hang around me so I wouldn't push it further. I'm trying to think of a very But that's like topic. something you'd know after you've gotten to know the person. But what if our first our first time interacting is enough for me? You've not met a guy that talks before, right? Yeah, there's some guys that talk they brag. I guess it, it's you can get to know everything about, about them one person in this, yeah. one sitting. Like really? yes. <laughs> if not if you not can everything. tell what the person says, the job he does, the pay he takes his family members, how much he paid for rent. You get to know everything in one sitting. Mm -hmm. And then that then the, I think that that qualifies for that's the your date. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what, what I'm saying. Thinking. Like you meet somebody like, okay, you go I go for a karaoke show. It's what? just a show I went alone. Yeah. And then maybe someone I meet someone there and then we have having a conversation. Okay. Like So you tell me that's a date. That's, that's a, date. a date. Well okay, I want to ask you what's the destination of the date? We agree. Mm -hmm. On a time, get our place, mm -hmm. you go and meet and have a talk or something. Mm -hmm. Enjoy our company, that's a date. But I don't dress and go out on my own, meet somebody there and tell oh, that as a date. It could be an impromptu date. No, I, I, I get what FBI is saying yeah. is that if we meet at a place, right, that's not a date. Yeah. But that's not really what we're talking about here. Yeah, I'm saying that mm -hmm. with somebody like that, somebody that we've met at the show, you get to know everything day, and then the person's like, Oh, I like you, can we meet tomorrow? Here, here, here. You know, such a person, you would meet, you would go all right, if even if, if I go, it's not as you said for Ketsy, but so that's what we're talking about. So then you go out on a date. So I think we're all on the same page, right? It's yeah. just how we're looking at it from you know. I think I would hear you out, no matter who you are. You you asked, have we not seen guys who talk? I mean, we see, I think most of these are attributes are just people generally, right? Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of girls who will tell you everything, right? It, 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 it's not a girl-boy thing, right? I feel I would hear everyone out. Mm -hmm. There are so many people, after the first date, you're like, what's not happening? Mm -hmm. And there are a few cues, right? <laughs> At least for me, I would. I had an experience, right? Where we're in college and she made fun of the course I was studying, right? And once I see you are that shallow who, person who thinks my course is better than someone else or I'm better off than someone else, I can put that together and know hey, I don't want to vibe with this person again. You, you got to know that on the first date. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see. So at least you have to like go. That, okay. Okay, on the first date, mm -hmm. imagine you meet somebody, a lady outside or somewhere. You guys talk at a mall or something, and then she asks you, "Oh, what do you do?" Then you're like, "Oh, I'm I'm this. I'm a doctor. I'm this." And maybe she sees like, "What's that? Like, is that even a thing?" You go like, "Ah, even if you don't know what I do." You shouldn't make fun of it. Somebody like this, would you want to ask her on a date? Hmm. Yes. And it's it's again, it's all about what Chris was saying earlier. You people can give you the wrong first vibe. 
I mean, we've all had friends where the first day we met them, we're like, that's a pompous prick. Yeah. And then you really get yeah. to know them, you're like, oh, yeah. you're cooler than I thought you were, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I feel at least the first date courtesy, mm -hmm. we can just accord to anybody. It's the second date. It's after I get to know you over mm -hmm. a drink, over coffee, over a meal. I mean, meals, I feel are bad first dates. Very bad. Because, again, it can go terribly wrong very, very, when very bad, very, very bad. the food is not good. And then you'd have to sit through a whole meal. Yeah. I don't have to sit through a whole cup of coffee. We can just take our drinks and go if it's going that bad. And that one is like, I'll never do that again. Yeah. Like. Uh, personally, I think if you go on a, a dinner date or something like that, that has to do with food. Mm -hmm. You should be with somebody you're, you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Somebody you've known for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean. But, like, you know, like, you really want to hang out with this person. And she's like, oh, I'm free this evening. Not that I'm like, let's go. So, <laughs> my, my pro tip would be start with a drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it goes well, I mean, particularly if it's a very good drink. You, you go for drinks early evening. And after a drink or two, you guys are still vibing. Mm -hmm. Then you move on. Hey, I'm hungry. You want to grab dinner? Mm -hmm. And so you have to plan the day so that it can progress if you like it. But then you, you should also give yourself an exit strategy. If it's terrible, I mean, you can do the root thing and just be like, this sucks. Let's just end it. Mm -hmm. Or you can find a way to sort of back out. But don't lock yourself into a whole meal, yeah. and then we're at sushi, and we're doing <laughs> entree, and we're doing appetizers, entrees, and dessert. It's Jeez, it's gonna be a big bill, and it's gonna be a terrible. Like you know, like being the you know having a dinner meal is like it's long, and you guys like for for me it's like I have more time to talk with her, and also hang out, and it's like you vibe, but like you start to vibe, but like sometimes too you know. You're trying to impress her, like. I, I don't know about that impressive thing. Why yeah. would you want to impress someone on a first date? It's just terrible. It's just that, you know, when. <laughs> no, <laughs> you really like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, for, for me, the impression then becomes the minimum, right? You're expected to progress. If you're if you're getting progressively worse, if on the first day you come to impress me, you're looking all glummed up and all dolled up and vibing good, and then the next time I see you, you're dropping off. So I think the first day you should set a very low bar. Mm. Like don't put all your goodies on the table. Like mm -hmm. be at least start with good communication. Mm -hmm. Then the second day you show her, oh, I'm versatile. I can mm. do something else. Then. Every time she sees you, you keep getting better. Mm -hmm. I think that's more impressive than starting at the top. Because then where else do you go? Mm -hmm. Down. <laughs> <laughs> and I can relate with that. Because, you know, for me, first date, I just like to feel comfortable. make mm -hmm. And make the person also feel comfortable. Because mm -hmm. when the person is comfortable, that's when you can all open up mm -hmm. and keep the conversation going. So, just you don't, just, you don't have to go too personal. You just keep it on the general, you talk, you talk, you talk. So when it gets better, then the next day it's the other, the other, that's when you get to go. Mm -hmm. And I think you can take it from there. Yeah, I get that, but you know. I like get where he's coming from. Like That was like my first time, like my first mm -hmm. date and my first time like going on a date. It's not really my first time going on a date, but like it was with this particular girl, you know. It's that like, you like. Yeah, and like um so how know, did it end up whoa <laughs> no, no, we became friends you know nothing really happened because okay. of school school time like uh communication be began to fade and mm. yeah but like we're still cool but mm. Mm. sorry bro <laughs> he, did it, he, did it first year, he just wanted to hit it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to blow her mind. Yeah, it, it, it happens, right? But again, I think you're getting a lot of pro tips from the pros yeah. in this room. I can <laughs> see a lot of pros in this room. But, but the thing is, I would always encourage you to start small. And personally, I like to get to know people over a long period of time. I don't want to know everything about you on the first date. Again, that's why I'm doing coffee. And, and there's also another, if you truly want to impress someone, leave them wanting more. 
ramp it up to the point where it's really good and then just end it just drop it off and drop it off and and just go home that bro right and so the person goes and you drive off and she's texting you already hey it was a really good date that's impressive and so leave 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 a lot out on your first date yeah i've had like a couple of that before like you know after they like immediately we went off and it's like she video called and I was like wow we mm-hmm. just had a bit we just had a day like yeah I remember it, it that was like we went to um this place at the mall this games place I forgot the place um main event yeah main event yeah we had like we went for a bowling alley we played bowling we came back so she was late on her first day but like she was coming she was like feeling but mm-hmm. like I'm so I was, like mm-hmm. calm down it's okay so like we really had fun that evening and I was gonna have car, she came to drop me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like she drove me. She was going home and in the ca- in her car going home, she video called me. I was like, Yo, you're still driving. She was like, Yeah. Oh. So, oh. Yeah. I didn't check. So that, that's a good first date. <laughs> and and I think it's also a good it's a good place to go on a first date. Mm-hmm. Somewhere you can both get to talk and get distractions, right? So if you're in a at a bowling alley, right? Particularly if you have one or two other people, right, bowling mm-hmm. with you, or if it's just you. But yeah, so main events is a good place, like a bowling alley, a sports place. I think. What do you guys think of cinemas? Uh, no, it's a no no. No, there's no much to talk about. Yeah, you, guys really are, you guys are just gonna watch TV <laughs> or something. Not that personally. I I think you know you you both be engaged watching something. You're supposed to get to know each yeah. other, and you're watching something. Your mind is not with the like. Why are we here? <laughs> what what would make it best is what what you guys do before the cinema. So you could go sit somewhere, mm-hmm. have a drink, mm-hmm. talk everything you want to say to the other person, and then after that you can go relax, watch a movie, and then have so a feel of like the That would be the climax yeah. of it. Yeah. And then after that you move on. So it would mainly be what you do before the cinema. I okay. I I completely agree. And again, this is where you planning planning the evening is key. When going on a date, evening afternoon planning, it is the best thing. At least know you can start off in a way a place you can pull out quickly. Mm-hmm. And I don't I don't no pun intended. <laughs> 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 and and also in a place where you can get a follow up just in case it's going great. So you meet for drinks, you're talking, and then there's this movie out. It's like, hey, have you seen this movie? Oh, no, you want to see it? If the date is going great, I don't mind spending an extra two hours with you. But imagine going to sit through a, um, um, a Lord of the Ring movie, which is like two hours, 45 minutes, with, with a snobbish, obnoxious prick. Endgame. It's just going to be like, yeah, yeah, basically going to see Endgame. No pun intended, but that's going to be the Endgame. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so I think, like D rightly said, cinemas would have to be well calculated. It has to be on... But Dee, tell us, did you tell us about your Instagram and everything? Um, I think no, I didn't do that. Okay, so you can find me on Instagram at 2 underscore ifia, 2 underscore ifia, S-E-F-Y-E, that's it. And then on Twitter, you can find me, my handle is, okay, so on Twitter, you can find me at just with D, just with D. All right. So yeah, so first day, these are some of the things, but I have one last question. Have you ever been on a date with someone that's gone great, everything was perfect, but when you're done, you're like, I don't want to meet this person again. I don't want to see them again. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm over this. Over. As in, I don't get it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Not, the person didn't do anything wrong, but... Yeah, I think so. Maybe, maybe. it depends. Maybe you, went, you were already in a relationship. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, it wasn't, that, it wasn't that I was in a relationship, but the way the guy was speaking, he was bragging. Oh, I have this. I work at this place. My daddy is so and so. He wanted to prove a point, like he can, like he's a man now. Yeah, he was trying to impress you. Yeah, he was trying <laughs> to impress me, but that didn't impress me at all. Like he put me off. That was a tenor for me. So, in my mind, when I was speaking to him, you know, I was in my mind that this guy, that's the last time he did it for me. And then on WhatsApp, through it, on WhatsApp, he reached me about blue ticking for like a day, and then he now he realized. It wasn't going anywhere. So there are times you meet somebody, I know this guy is a no-no. And there are times you meet someone you want to push 
even you the lady myself i wanted to push oh let's interact so that's it i have not experienced anything like that before but I, I i just want to know how easy or difficult it is to go on a first date with someone from a different culture like mm. different backgrounds how, how do you handle that when maybe you are from africa and you are going on a date with someone from america or europe or somewhere else um how easy or difficult is that so it's a very tricky one what i can say is what binds us as human is more than the things that divide us culturally and you know ideologically people would be very different but the truth is you go on a first date and you realize all the things you have in common with people i mean i've been on first date with people from europe and you you have i mean and it's a very good learning point right we have stereotypes about people oh french people are like that oh eastern europeans are like that oh africans are like that it's only when you truly go to get to know someone then you realize that we're all human after all that there's this moment where everything sort of uh we're, we're so common like preferences in meals and all that then you realize oh they like good music too yeah. oh we like good movies too oh you know so i feel the first thing is to get that in your mind right that i i, I think i've had a few questions right that are just off-putting oh you're from africa i know a friend from zimbabwe <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a continent right like just don't go be dumb like if you're going to meet someone from a different part of the world just don't go be ignorant like oh you're from china i know Li Wei. do you know <laughs> jet li do you know no don't don't do that it's just lame it's played out right because nobody's going to be like oh you're from accra i know a friend Akwete. do you know him <laughs> nobody does that right so just just don't do it it's terrible but i think a lot of things buying people from all over the world and it's all about getting to know the person we're, we're all the same um race creed ethnicity and so i always tell my friends like when i meet people i don't want to know where they come from i don't want to know their creed i don't want to know their religion and all that that that's unnecessary i want to know the things that we share in common what are your interests what music do you like you know and then you you bind over that and you realize that the culture and everything falls off it really doesn't matter because I've told you guys what I, what do I call culture tradition it's just peer pressure from dead people <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to live our lives like all these boundaries so yeah you should absolutely try try to meet as many people as possible I don't know about you guys we're gonna I'm gonna ask this hard one do first dates have to end with a kiss or a smash Mm, I'll say none. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hell no, hell no. Mm. But like, it depends on like how, like. Is that hell no? Is that hell? hell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you it think, depends. Chris? It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. When the vibe <laughs> is positive from both ends, mm. oh, yeah. it happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think it will cloud your judgment. When both exactly. parties are okay. Not your judgment. Not your judgment. Maybe what, what you have, it's a, you smash the person. Maybe it will be good. But the person's other side wasn't so good. So you'd be confused. No, I believe. So would you stay because of the smashing or the kiss? Or mm. <laughs> okay. Personally, uh, um, all events are independent of each other. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that is how I. So if I'm not going for you, I'm not going for you. So if I, mm. so during the talks, if it wasn't good and the smashing was good, it would be smashed <laughs> and that was it. Mm. Mm. So we, go. We, we just we just move on. Mm. But if both were good and we, we both want it, I think we can just go for it. I see. Personally, I think smashing is like, it's, as she said, it's going to cloud your judgment. Mm. Just imagine you meet somebody that is, you know, so terrible with communication and everything and then you end up smashing like then maybe he was good in bed now you can tell okay am i going to stay with this mm-hmm. person because the person is good in bed 
or because like you know so it, i i think that boils down to what you want yeah yeah so yeah. personally yeah. it's not it's, so it's not so if if you want someone who is good in bed mm-hmm. you can go for <laughs> you can go for <laughs> that <laughs> if no, you I want think, i think maybe <laughs> on the second date you can you know you can take a good decision on the second date but first date no but on the first date, if it will happen, it will happen. It will oh, not happen. <laughs> no, it depends on your mindset behind the date. Maybe but like, yeah, you guys like want each other, then you guys meet. Uh, you know, during the interaction, during the course of the date, like, you say, everybody needs something. And if it happens that I have to smash, and she wants to smash, why not go for it? <laughs> so so I, I, I'm going to say something that's going to shock you guys. I listened to a friend and he said he's never been on a first date he didn't smash. Huh? Every time he's been on a first date he smashed. Um personally, again, I think it's about the vibe, it's about the moment, but my pro tip is even if it's certain, I often leave that off the table and just leave that idea hanging. Mm-hmm. Cuz um you talk. You, you, we talked about impressing the person, right? Mm-hmm. So we start with a movie. We start with drinks. It goes great. We go to the movie. It's like awesome. Going there, like we you going all the way up there, mm-hmm. and then from there, what next? Like there's nothing. <laughs> so 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 y- you follow it up with a very lovely movie. When you're done, you grab dinner, and then you take a nice stroll down. You drop it off at her door. You open the door for her, you walk her to her doorstep. And at that point, everybody's like, okay, leaning for the kiss, leaning for the kiss. And gentle old me would take a step back, turn around, and let you watch my ass leave. <laughs> I just leave that idea just sitting there. And normally, that's where the first text comes. Like, I so was expecting you to have, like, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> and so you, you just leave things at that point where the person wants a second date because if you drop all your cards on the table on the first date like like they were saying it clouds judgment it also certifies things mm. she's like i'm not really feeling his vibe let me see and then you go and smash and oh you're terrible it's like okay <laughs> i guess we know right so sometimes i'm like I don't think you can get to know people on a first date, right? I mean, we we absolutely know what we don't want on a first date, but what we you want, want? You, you, you're you not very certain. And the young women were like, eh, it's going to cloud my judgment. If that smashing is good, I might overlook some of the things that he said that were abhorrent, mm-hmm. like terrible ideas. That's true. Sometimes it also s- makes everything clear. Like, I mean, if you're terrible in bed, I mean, no matter how awesome your personality is, y- you just friend zoned yourself, right? And so I feel you should leave something on the table. Build it up. I, I, I enjoy building things up. Things shouldn't happen in one day. Mm-hmm. Even if you even if I like a person, you're not gonna know on the first date. No. Uh, you know how they're like Second date kiss, third day smash. Sometimes I'm like tenth mm-hmm. day, still leading <laughs> you on. The fun sometimes is in the getting to know oh, someone yeah. and really wanting them. Like when you build it up to the point where both of you just really want each other, it's fun. There's nothing like terrible sex, right? Because you've built it up to the point where everybody really wants it, right? And so I leave a lot to the build up, right? And and getting there slowly. So I don't know, but people smash on the first date. I'm not against that. Hey, do you? But hey, I also like to leave something on the table for next time. Mm-hmm. That's you. <laughs> 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 so, so, oh, I don't want to smash, but if she wants to do it, well, I might be saying no. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us about yourself. Sense. Let us know your Instagram handle and let's go check it out right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like my Instagram handle is Nana Konyaksen with no spaces. Yeah, it's Nana is N A N A Echo E K O W. Nana is N Y E R K S O N. Yeah, you can follow me on my um, you can follow me on my Instagram. So Echo Nyaksen and I play Fortnite a lot and we have a lot of team members who couldn't say his name so they called him Papa Cow. Yeah. And so <laughs> if you guys hear me calling him Papa Cow, it's from Fortnite. Yeah. And if you're on Fortnite you can 
Ah, they want Papa Carl P A P A K O W eight nine. Yeah, eight nine. Yeah, and you can add me I C E L A W nine zero. Just let's let's get together. Let's get some dubs. <laughs> Chris, you didn't tell us a lot about yourself, but hey. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter or Chris underscore K U E T S I N Y A. Chris underscore Kuechina on Twitter and Instagram. All right. So, I, everybody has gotten to know the crew members today. We've just been talking about first dates. Since it's our first episode, we just wanted to know the things you, we would do for you to subscribe to our podcast and follow us. Don't forget to check us out every time. And episodes are going to drop every week. Um, I hope you get to know the crew some more. And these are ideas about first dates. Again, we're just unleashing everything. We're just diving into things. Totally unscripted. If Fia has a big book in front of her, I don't know what's in it. But hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's all jokes. Um, I think we're going to dive into the news right after the break. All right, guys, welcome back to the Casa Podcast, episode one by the Tribe. I've got Chris, Fia, Papa Cow, and D in the building, and. At, at this point we're just going to dive into some of the news and guys there's some great news the stimulus package oh, yes. is getting <laughs> through the house i think we're getting some more oh. checks coming in all right um do you have any news from the 233 i'm more interested in the 233 news guys hit me up with something okay so on twitter there's this new app i don't know if you guys are on this club mm-hmm. are you on club no are you on club <laughs> no Okay, there's this new app called Clubhouse, and there's a room, it's like a group of people, you create a room for people with like minds and you talk about anything you want to talk about in a room. And there's this particular room called Accra and Packaging. You know, every day in the stories they have, they have something, maybe um, what's going on, what you think about relationship, anything. Maybe uh, mostly they talk about pricing in Accra, they say things in Accra are priced and all that. And recently, somebody said he can repeat his captain. <laughs> and it's been trended on Twitter. He can repeat his captain after he wears the one. And it doesn't make sense to anybody. Like, why can't you repeat a captain in war? Like, you paid like 500 Ghana cities for it. Why can't you do that? So now, everything they, they say, they make reference to that. Like, they make reference to the captain story. But this whole idea of not repeating clothes, right? It's it's not. I think it's a very common phenomenon. People are like, "Oh, I've worn this. I can't wear it again." Mm. I mean, what are you doing? Are you buying disposable <laughs> clothes? <laughs> it's your sh- clothes. Just wear it. Why can't you repeat? Why can't you repeat no. your clothes? Okay. So now the news. Let's give give me some one or two news that have been. What's been happening in Ghana? Mm. Oh, but once we're on the stimulus package thing, when do you think Ghana is going to pass their first stimulus check? Oh, oh. it's never happening. Oh. Maybe it was happening. It was happening, but it was for specific people. That was last really? year. Yes. Is it for the those at the front line? Small scale. Small scale, ah, and that one and was even going to small scale yeah. business owners. If you know somebody that works close to maybe the ministry or something okay. they can say that i am not kidding you maybe there are some people who have my advantage. Whole one so let's just okay, say so what's so supposed to be so in ghana mm-hmm. coronavirus yeah um was it palmer Bacow who got COVID? yeah he got COVID from rollins's funeral yeah yeah i think yeah. he's wow. doing better now yeah he's doing a lot better yeah. and he he had a video circulating around advising mm-hmm. all Ghanaians to be extra careful and mask up mm-hmm. and avoid large gatherings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think people are not taking COVID as seriously in Ghana. Yeah. I see people at weddings and they're, they're still on the Jama vibe yeah, and yeah, people yeah, are spitting yeah. into other people's mm-hmm. faces. And the UK strain is more dominant in Ghana's mm. new cases. Yeah. yeah. And, and and the thing is, my problem with Ghana and at least how we're handling the COVID case is 
you know how people are like, oh, wait, it's, it's for the rich people because only rich people can test, right? So they are not testing the ordinary mate and the trot trot driver and the taxi driver who all have COVID, right? Because they don't have 500 cities oh, to go also, test. Also, they said now it's free. For yeah. what? COVID test is free in Ghana. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, but I, I let, let Let's verify that. It would be good if COVID tests are actually mm-hmm. free because then it's going to be helpful. That's what they've said, but I don't know anyone that has gone for the mm. test. Because now no, so my no. Joy Online is reporting that the total number of cases in Ghana are like what seventy thousand and forty six. We have four hundred and forty nine deaths. That's wow. just as at the time we're recording I'm the not episode. Surprised at all, cause you know you go to a restaurant and all that no matters. One. You just when you enter, there's no one no wearing masks. No, they just wear. Even to in enter. my hood, I remember before coming here. I was in my max one time going to the pharmacy and then one gentleman met me and was like, Hey, na COVID ne that's so on. COVID no ni ho. I don't know, those who understand you get me. I felt so like I was like, Hey, what's going on? I felt like I'm the only one in mask. Hey, what is going on? So people are just walking yeah. around without their mask. They don't really care what's happening. That's causing this, right? My people, mm-hmm. please mask up. Mm-hmm. Please mask up. Avoid gatherings and Stay safe. Mm-hmm. This COVID thing is really mm-hmm. ravaging yeah. us more than we think it is. Mm-hmm. If you're not a rich Fidelity bank manager, nobody cares what kills you. Mm-hmm. So please, just stay safe. Wear your mask. Stay avoid all these things. Stay at home. If you can. Yeah. Stay at home. It looks like all the news that is coming out of Ghana is not so exciting. And then mm-hmm. I think the political rage kind of the court issue oh yeah i learned i learned um yeah. our ec what's her name jane she yeah. yeah. was mount to to be questioned right really yeah, yeah. they said they would declare that the oh, holiday yeah. Yeah. i'm not what surprised because she's supposed to be there yeah she will and chachu would question oh. her <laughs> <laughs> i'll watch that mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I've not been following it because, I mean, in 2012, what happened in court is just what's going to happen today. They're going to be like, hey, elections are not decided in a court. They're and decided the funny thing is, the courts have already declared they are going to rule this case in 42 days, mm-hmm. whether they like it or mm-hmm. yes. So, whatever happens. it's like they've already, they've, they know what they'll say, mm-hmm. but they're just going through the process of formality yeah. stage. But I really did like that video that came up with Essie <laughs> Dunketia <laughs> trying to <laughs> Yeah, with a with a mass of science. It was it was just a mess. That was just funny. Ghana is a fun country. Yeah. I just love my country. You can't get depressed. Just no. wake up. You'll be fine. Isn't that why we love Ghana? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's it's really good. But let let's let's wrap up the show with some sport news, right? Just before we recorded, I know by the time you're listening to this, this is going to be dead news. But Liverpool just got trashed <laughs> by Man City. You know, I can't believe my eyes. I woke up thinking I'm going to see a draw because, you know, I love club and I love Pep. So maybe a draw would have been fine. We'll keep Pep at the top and um, Liverpool will still in the race. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. Liverpool is below Manchester United. On the fourth position, young woman, don't With offend me. Points. <laughs> Five points below Manchester United. Mm. How? Yeah, you, you think we're always going to be at the bottom? <laughs> so, we're leaving this in the hands of Liverpool, but we've realized you can't leave Liverpool with shit. So, we're <laughs> going to win the title ourselves, right? <laughs> but Man City's next like six games are going to be fun. They're going to play Arsenal. They're going to play. I think the so easiest game is like Arsenal West Ham. When you're talking about teams, Arsenal is not. No, but they can surprise you. It's like yeah. games you don't think Man City is going to lose. They have, they have um, Tottenham for next. No. Swansea City. Everton. Everton. Okay, Everton might be tough, but as now no. The no. West Ham, the menu. Oh please, please. Mm. We can handle that. Mm. All right, guys, <laughs> Le- listen to this Man City fan. <laughs> as the episodes keep rolling, we're gonna Karen see how she's Chelsea going to. Playing Sheffield United. 
Mm. Uh, and they are this being is if you're not Bundesliga. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure Chelsea is okay? okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, so you want the penalty? Okay, so why are they gonna lose? For the sake of our Ghanaian mm. player in there. Who is the Ghanaian now? Ah, what? I think he's injured. No wonder they are losing. Me because of party after party. I love us now. Now. Us now started on their on their downward trend after they got party. Mm. Oh no! They're like they're party <laughs> after party as we're saying. No, no, no. Like when party joined, okay, yeah. they really improved. Yeah, their yeah, midfield fine. was nothing. Like you couldn't go past the midfield. Mm-hmm. But, but now he said, yeah. yes. This is like a third injury. Yeah, and it's bad. You know when he comes <laughs> in, everything will be fine. But it's they can't score Manchester in S C C. No, they can't do that. <laughs> As not can't. And You'd be okay. surprised though. Okay. Don't get your hopes up like that. No, we are dealing with Pep here. See yeah. mm. It's not ma- it's not us now. It will be here next week. I mean Liverpool couldn't do shit. I know, we'll be here next week. So so the last the last item on the on the agenda is today is the Super Bowl. Yeah. And as of the time we're recording, the game hasn't been played. And so we're going to go around the room and take predictions, right? It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And I know um, Kujan Pedu would be rooting for his Mahomes. <laughs> he's, he's like the craziest Mahomes fan I know. He doesn't like anything about Kansas City. He just loves Mahomes, mainly because he's a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but like Kansas City, um, like that case, like they are great. They do well. And so we're going D, who do you think is winning the Super Bowl? Well, I'm not really into the Super Bowl, but it's good to go with a great team. And the great team is Kansas City, right? So I'm with them. So you're going with Kansas City? Yeah. Alright. Who are you going with? I'm rooting for the Chiefs, you know. Yeah. So Kansas Papa Koi is also going <laughs> for the Chiefs. So we have two <laughs> Chiefs fans now. If I, I think I'll go with the underdogs. So <laughs> you're going to go with the Buccaneers, yes, right? Yes, yes. yes. I'll go with them. Chris, who are you going with? The Chiefs or the Buccaneers? I think I would will, I will love to go for a 2 2 here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you go with the Buccaneers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, we're going to end up with three Bucks fans. I think Tom Brady is not someone to overlook, right? Mm-hmm. A guy has won six mm-hmm. rings. You don't take him for granted, right? Mm-hmm. So tonight, I'm predicting the Bucks find a way to win it. <laughs> And we're going to be here next week to see who failed. <laughs> <laughs> it, on that note, would would come to the end of our first episode. And we had fun recording this. Yay. I hope you had fun listening to it. And I hope you subscribe to the podcast. Check out our new episodes whenever they Follow come up. Follow us on our Instagram handle. The cast... The... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I go again. Casa underscore the tribe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget to follow us on our Instagram and our Twitter. It's at Casa underscore the tribe. Just give us a follow and subscribe to our page and watch out for new episodes. We promise we're not going to bring any more Man City fans on. Please. Come on. Yeah. I'm we a very explain today what they're playing against Real Betis, and I know my team is going to win. Barcelona. Yes, Real of course. Not team. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, wow. Real Betis. We're, we're, we're going to end with this messy lover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye.